So now in this video, we're going to use a capacitor to make a ramp that goes down. Last video we looked at a ramp that works its way up. We're going to instantly charge the capacitor by closing the switch. And then when we open the switch, current's going to flow through our current source. We'll talk about that later on. And since it's a current source, a steady current will flow and so the voltage of the capacitor will drop at a steady rate. As long as we hold the switch, the capacitor will say fully charged and current will just flow through that way. Now, we will uh, come right to the build. I covered a lot of these topics in uh, earlier videos, so I'm going to rush through them a little more in this one. So you can see we already got the switch on the board to the uh, positive side there. So we got the negative, we need to connect the capacitor and our current source in parallel. So we're going to grab a 1000 microfarad capacitor. So that's the same as a one millifarad capacitor. We're gonna set the current at one milliamp. So it will change one volt per second. And uh, there we go. So we got the capacitor. Here's the LM334. And this sets a current based on the resistance that is being used. So I'm putting V plus up here. The flat side's to the left. V plus is to the switch. R is in the middle, and then V minus is at the uh, bottom. So top pin is to the uh, switch there. We're going to take this 68 ohm resistor, and that will give us a pretty perfect 1 milliamp of current. So I did that in an earlier video. That's what's setting it. Higher resistance results in less current. Lower resistance results in more current. Don't go below 6.8 ohms though because that'll be more than 10 milliamps of current. So that's one tenth the resistance, 10 times the current from what we have here. So in any case, let's get the oscilloscope and uh, go from there. So now we got my uh, portable oscilloscope here, low price, easy to use. We're gonna clip the red alligator clip to the positive side of the capacitor and then the uh, black one to the uh, negative side. And I have to reach around because the camera's in the way, but uh, there you go. We got them both clipped, and you can see the voltage is steady at uh, basically zero volts. So now I'm going to hit the button there, and you can see that it pretty much instantly charged, and I think it may have had a slight delay because this is kind of a large value capacitor, and we're using a power supply that uh, doesn't respond perfectly to instant current when you have a demand. So, in any case, there you can see, it slowly went down in a ramp, uh, pretty steadily there, and it should be about, uh, probably a little more than six seconds. So, we got that line as the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a little bit more there. So, it did not drop all the way to uh, nothing, because it takes a little bit of voltage to keep that current flowing through there. So when the voltage looks like uh, slightly below one volt, all of a sudden it doesn't have enough power to uh, push through the component anymore and it kind of levels off. Now the capacitor will discharge over time. That will finally get to uh, nothing down there. It will self discharge. But in uh, any case, that's it for the circuit. We saw the ramp going down. It instantly goes up thanks to the switch and goes down at a steady rate because it's a steady current and it's a fixed capacitance of course. So check out one of the other videos that I'm posting here. Make sure you click like, subscribe, the bell, all that stuff. And uh, I will see you in the next video.